Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, part two of uh, the Cessna 310 U3B slash whatever tip tank mold. So uh, we got both sides of the mold done, and we're going to see if we can get this thing separated. We got our little openings here. I already pulled out the pieces of uh, squeegee. Let's see if we can get this thing to separate. It's looking good. Sounds good. Crack, crack, crack. like that, I think we got it. Sure enough, that's probably the easy part. Okay, there we go. Nice little mold. Oh no, we got PBA in there, of course, I'm going to have to wash that all out. But that looks good. No big bubbles or voids or anything like that. I'm amazed. Okay, now. Now. How did we get this thing out of here? I guess the first thing. Is try some air. this baby up. Never done this before this way, so. I heard some crack. Yeah, maybe not. dig into this plug. Just a little air. Ha! Awesome. There we go. Lots of PVA. We'll get that all cleaned out of there. Ooh, nice. Woo! You know? Gains I might make a believer yet, because this is a nice mold. <laughs> A lot of work, but son of a gun, it does make a nice end product. Well, there you go, guys. 
the groomless and moanless extraction of the plug in my first fiberglass mold. I'm happy to say I'm ecstatic with the results and uh, we'll go from there. Next time uh, I'll get these all cleaned up and then we'll wax and PVA them and we'll lay up a couple of tech tanks and uh, see where it goes from there. Thanks guys! Hey, welcome back. I want to add something. I did forget one thing. I was going to uh, drill holes in this for bolts for clamping this together before I took it apart. But since I've got these nice little extrusions, you can see from those uh, from those door plugs that we put on there, the silicon plugs. I think that this should line up. Yeah, fit like a glove. And I can clamp this down and uh, go ahead and drill my holes in there with no problem. So I guess that little uh, error in procedure shouldn't make too much difference. Okay, see you later.